have 41 contemporary works by 10 Indigenous artists working at specialist art studios. Very well equipped places. Manawara Jury on Bathurst Island. Mora Andara Artists in Alice Springs as part of Bindi Centre Salas. And Jula Lakali Arts at Tennant Creek, where artists are painting in the Pink Palace. Um, the aim of this exhibition, as I probably don't need to tell you, it's not to celebrate otherness through a category of outsider art. This is the art that is used in America for artists who are not trained at art school. Uh, it's not a term that I find appropriate for people who, like all of us, live and love to make art. So it's not a term that I use myself. Um, um, it is really the exhibition is about acknowledging the, the sort of the great individuality and the diversity of these artists within a broader, more inclusive definition of contemporary Indigenous art. It is also the fact that a number of these artists are represented at the National Gallery of Victoria. We represent all of these um, art centres, Nomura Jury, Bindi, and also the artists working in Tennant Creek, Villa Lakari Arts. Um, so, and these artists with special needs, and I would say great vision, freedom, have, um, they're not marginalised and they're not considered outsiders in their own communities. Their artistic truth springs from the same intimate connections to people and place that, that is the sort of the essence of Indigenous art right across Australia. And they belong to a society where everyone is allowed to do and be without any labels or categories. And this is what we're looking at. This is art. This is great art. This has been purchased by the National Gallery of Victoria. We have a whole wall of works of Billy Ben in juxtaposition with works of Sidney Nolan. Um, we are hanging at the moment a wall of works by Otto and Edwin Pararucha, which will, which will also face Billy Ben's work as part of this sort of room of Australian art. He is part of a great landscape tradition. And the works that he had, I mean, you go in there and you can see, oh, looks like Lake Turner, looks like Fred Williams, looks like Sidney Nolan's views of Central Australia. But this has come inherently from the fact that he, he loves his country, he knows it intimately from within, and he is the lad he paints. The same could be said for Adrian Robertson, this artist here, um, this sort of more recent one just behind you where he's breaking up the pictorial space and dissolving the form. Um, Kupala MacDonald. Now, Kupala MacDonald also working in Nifty, which is a great place to visit. Um, the artists have the studio um, and there's, there's Rock, there's sort of country and western music play, and when you visit, they like you to sit down and while they're working, and they show you, they get uh, the arts worker to pull things out. They do all their own colour mixing, no one needs to assist them with that, and then they, they get very excited when they're showing you work. Or, um, Kukula McDonald. Um, She's from Papunya, she's a Luritja artist, and um, she specialises in the black cockatoos and also painting wheelchairs, all sorts of wheelchairs. Um, Billy Ben is great on a small scale, on paper, um, on large canvas as well, and he was the winner of the Alice Springs, uh, the Alice Prize um, in 2006 with, with a, a astonishing painting. So you need to come into the National Gallery of Victoria and see a whole wall of them. They look very, very powerful. 
Um, we've also got Billy Kender here, um, and he is interested in moving machinery, planes, trucks, buses, and of course, you know, in this part of uh, Central Australia, there's a love of sort of travelling back to country and, and uh, meeting people, and yeah, I, I think uh, there's, there's a lot captured there. Um, and we've also got uh, the artist who's from um, the Pitanjara artist as well, who loves cowboys. And a lot of these artists, Billy was a uh, stockman um, for a lot of his time. So those are the Central Australian artists, um, really working at um, the art studio associated with Bindi. Bindi was set up originally as a place where people could come and get CDMP, that's unemployment benefits, and make wooden toolboxes and other wooden objects. And then they were painting these wooden boxes and starting to do to decorate them in interesting ways. And um, you know, and eventually an art studio was set up and there were about 14 artists working there. It's so a great atmosphere. When we think about Munawara Jury, there are three artists represented from there, but there are 14 Tiwi artists working at the Munawara Jury. It was established in 1994 and it's in a wonderful building called the Keeping House. This is a galvanised iron, circular, huge building, spherical shape, spherical ceiling, and it was, was built in the 1970s by a Sydney architect, Peter Myers, and um, 10 Tiwi artists painted their Chilamara, their ancestral designs, on the ceiling in panels. And this, this when people visit there, people say, oh, this is our, this is our Tiwi Sistine ceiling. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. And when you go there, Joy Naden, who, she and her husband migrated from England in 1994. They came here, they were teachers, and they've never left. And the atmosphere there, once again, with music playing, you know, country and western, and, and people coming and go, these artists come every day. Um, and Alfonso, they've all got an, very different styles. I mean, Alfonso Curtini, you know, he does the most amazing um, works. Fukumani poles, um, paintings on houses, aeroplanes, cities. Um, he's, got a, he's got an amazing imagination. And although these works are in natural opus, um, uh, Lorna Cantilla and Estelle Mahanomi, they also paint beautifully in, in watercolours. Very vibrant, very delicate works. Um, and there's been, been immense development in their practice. When we think about the artists from working in uh, Tennant Creek at the King Palace, Peggy Nakanadi Jones um, is an artist who's had a number of solo exhibitions in Melbourne. Her works were hanging in the opening, the first hang of the Indigenous Galleries at Federation Square. And also, she did a series of AFL football jumpers in little squares that almost won that AFL art prize at, at the gallery. Um, and then they were purchased by the um, Melbourne, the MCC. So it's in the MCC collection. And the interesting thing was that series of works, there was no Geelong work. They were all square and they were based on the colours of the jumpers because Geelong that year didn't have the Indigenous player. But um, they, were, they were great works. Um, and then she was uh, in Calcutta, so Peter Jones. But the other artist here, Dion Beasley, um, he's about 19, and Peter Jones is a dialysis patient. Um, Dion Beasley is a very special case. Um, he's about 19 at the moment, and 
I want to sort of say that um, the prints that he does and his uh, sort of amazing drawings of dogs and animals, um, he's really come alive through art. Art is therapy. And he was, he's profoundly deaf and um, was rescued really by a teacher, also named Joy, um, who sort of worked with him, taught him signing. He'd never had been given those skills. And, you know, he's sort of fascinated by camp dogs and he's also fascinated by other animals. And so the sort of liberation and the beauty of line and, and the work that he does um, and the fact that Joy is sort of working with him and, you know, encouraging and members of the family because it's, we shouldn't forget the role of family. Family is the essence, of course, of Aboriginal culture and society. Um, and this is the essence as well with those of us who have children and, you know, and also want, want to have this inclusiveness. This inclusiveness is the spirit that is evident at these three Indigenous art centres. Um, it's a great thing that you've given your space to this show. And these artists do exhibit in commercial exhibitions <coughs> in Sydney, Melbourne, right, right through Australia. And just a little tip for you, they are, the works are affordable because that is the idea of these art centres, <coughs> that the works remain affordable so that the artists are not beset by problems of humbugging from other members of the community. If they're making too much money, it creates a problem. So, it's lovely to be here. I've enjoyed meeting all of you, and keep up the good work with your art. Keep it going. And uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Judith. Thanks. 